Yeah, so um, FIFA comes out this year on the Xbox 360 for the first time uh, with this new engine that we've been designing. We've um, been working on for about two years now um, over in uh, Vancouver in our studio. Um, a lot of when the first next-gen technology came out, we invested a lot of time in really looking at what had been holding, uh, not just FIFA, but a lot of sports games, and games in general back on current gen, uh, specific to a football game being um, actually being able to apply uh, real um, AI and physics just to the ball to be able to attach that. But also a lot of the, the way the players move and react in real life situations, really giving everyone, um, the 22 players on the pitch, and even to a certain degree, the players on the bench, their own brains, so that they're actually acting as individuals. Um, a lot of the time, a lot of the hang-ups on current gen games um, is that after a while, a lot of the players feel the same and don't really act the same. And then a lot of the player movement that we see in a lot of um, first-person shooter games, um, some of the, the, the great other third third-person games you see out there, really be able to deliver that into a sports experience. Um, so it really is that athletic performance that I mentioned. So uh, we're releasing it this year uh, for the first time in FIFA 07, um, exclusive on the Xbox 360. Um, it not only is the, the game design that we've put in, but it's a new engine that we've put together, uh, really allows for that uh, really first next generation uh, football game, certainly from EA. Um, we've released some before, but we've been using an enhanced version of our current gen engine. This is the first time this new get engine's come to market, and I think you'll see um, a big leap in the, in not just the graphics and not just the artificial intelligence, but um, a lot of the online enhancements as well, really maximizing the potential that 360 give us with uh, online. Uh, really kind of like we're looking to, um, to, to blend the worlds of virtual football and the real world football. Um, you can actually now, uh, rather the game, playing the game, actually uh, track results that they have in real time. It's kind of like having the internet uh, being fed to you via stream or you can actually access data on uh, over 22 leagues uh, from around the world. So you can actually keep up the speed of what's going on around the world totally live whilst you're playing the game. Um, and it really is exciting because the future potential um, of this engine um, and these online enhancements um, really sort of like take us into places that are going to be very, very exciting for football consumers and really allowing people to really feel like they're participating with their, the games that are playing on Saturday. Like I'm a uh, Tottenham Hotspurs fan for, for my sins. Um, and it'd be great that if I'm playing you at the weekend and you're an Arsenal fan, um, what actually happens on the pitch in that Tottenham Arsenal game ends up actually um, updating our game real time live. So if Edgar Davids, for example, uh, gets sent off, we're actually, um, you're celebrating while we're watching the game in real time because we're actually playing that game afterwards. And those type of things can actually start affecting the, the, uh, the virtual world, so to speak. So, Online uh, gives us a lot of opportunities. This uh, new AI physics animation engine that we've rewritten for the game, um, and we're continuing to deliver that depth in manager mode. So we're very excited by this year's Xbox 360. Game. No one's seen it until uh, until today. We're doing uh, some behind closed doors, um, sort of like first time to allow people to play it and actually feedback because we've still got a lot of uh, development time here. Um, but yeah, it's exciting. We're hoping that. Uh, um, certainly the consumers out there will see that uh, the technology investment leads for exciting times for the FIFA franchise. Yeah, it's something that actually we went uh, into with a partnership uh, with FIFA. Uh, we presented to them some ideas that we wanted, again, merge that world between uh, the online and the real world and I guess kind of make heroes out of the best uh, FIFA players there are out there. Um, so FIFA, the governing body of football, tend not to do things by half. Um, so we've actually, we're in agreement and we're going to be doing it for a good few years in the future. Uh, we're still uh, sort of like looking at the first couple of years that we've done it, ensuring um, that when we sort of like bring it to, um, to market this year and then the following years, uh, we haven't quite got to the perfect event yet, but there's a lot of uh, new things that we're going to be putting in this year and then it gets more exciting next year and I think um, it is really going to be um, next year's, um, starting from this year, going through to next year, where we're really going to see it exciting and have it for an event for the hardcore gamers to really show their wares. Um, and also the, the casual game that just wants to sort of like try and become that, uh, that football superstar and uh, give them opportunity as well. So 
it's going to be an exciting time for that as well. Again, merging that online version of it as well. Without doubt, I think the, the online world, and I mean, probably like you guys do, we spend a lot of time brainstorming of what will be, certainly as a consumer myself, what will be that perfect uh, place to go. And I think that viewing um, is one part of it. There's there's people out there who they just love to be the referee or something, for example. There's all, if, if we've got the technology and our new engine allows us to do that, why not give people the opportunity to be the referee in the game? Why not give people the opportunity to be the goalie, spectators? It's, there's a lot of possibilities. That's why it's so exciting.